Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, can we use implicit weight and explicit weight weighting mechanisms together in a test case or test script? Let me answer. The answer is yes, we can use them both together. In a single script, we can use both implicit weight and explicit weight together. That will in fact improve the stability and increase the robustness of the scripts. Okay. While implicit weight is a global weight, which will be applicable for okay all the elements in the script as a common item. Okay. So basic weighting mechanism, whatever that you have to give in the script for all the elements that you can do with the help of implicit weight. Whereas explicit weight is for some special cases where a particular element, okay, which is taking more time than the common element stake. Okay, for such kind of special elements, we can go with the explicit weight and we can use them together. Okay, implicit weight is a global common weight for all the elements. Okay, and explicit weight is a special category where in special situations for a particular element, if you want to wait for more time and all, then you can go with the explicit weight and you can use both of them together to improve the stability and increase the robustness of the scripts without any problem. Okay, so let me show you practically how you can use them together in a single script. For that, I'll switch to this uh, Eclipse ID where we have some sample automation script already written for opening the Chrome browser for maximizing that browser. And here we need to open the URL. Okay, so I'll take this sample application as uh, omena.blogspot.com. Copy this and paste it here. Once I go here, let's say I would like to type my name into the text area field, inspect this. And here we have an ID for the text area field, copy this. And simply say driver.find element by dot ID, provide the ID locator of the text area field and say dot send keys. And I'll enter my name. Okay. So whatever the elements I'm creating here by default, okay, there is no waiting mechanism. Here, what I will do here is and say driver dot manage dot okay timeouts dot implicitly wait. Okay, this is a command. Implicitly wait is a command from timeouts from driver dot manage. So here I have to give duration dot of seconds, let's say common time I'm giving us 10 seconds. Okay. So for all the elements, it's a global weight. This statement is an implicit weight and it is a global weight. So you don't have to specially mention this for each and every element by default for all the elements that you are creating or mentioning in the script, this implicit weight is applicable for this line. Implicit weight is applicable. Okay. Whatever the uh, elements you are finding out and whatever the actions you are performing, right? For all the elements, the implicit weight is automatically done. For example, I want to enter my first name into this uh, search box. We'll inspect this. So here name is equal to Q is there. Copy this. For this also automatically implicit weight will be applicable by dot name locator, provide the name locator and say dot send keys again. Here I'll give my first name. And uh, put a semicolon. That's it. Then after entering here my full name, here my first name, then uh, what I want to do is I want to uh, click on this button. Okay, I'll inspect this button. It has a class. Copy this. Driver dot find element by dot class name. Provide the class locator and say dot click. So for all these three elements, implicit weight will be automatically applicable. It is a global weight. 10 seconds of waiting time is by default there for all these three elements. Now, once I click on this drop down button, I'll get this flip cut option. I'll inspect this. It is a link text. Copy this. Create a web element, driver dot find element by dot link text. Provide the link text locator for that uh, flip card option and say dot click. And for this flip card option only, I would like to specially wait. Okay. Let's assume that the flip card option is taking more than 10 seconds or what it's a uh, common weight is not working out for flip card and uh, we have to wait for more time. So I cannot change the global weight, right? So in that case, I'll write the explicit weight here. Assume that. Okay. I'm saying, okay. Web driver weight. Wait, this this is implicit weight, whatever I have read, written in a single line here. Okay, in the beginning of the script is the implicit weight. Here, whatever I'm writing is the explicit weight. New web driver weight. In explicit weight, we have two types. One is uh, this normal explicit weight, that is web driver weight. Other one is fluent weight. 
but in real time people don't use fluent weight they go with the web driver weight only as part of explicit weight driver comma here we have to pass two things driver comma duration dot of seconds and here i'll give it as 15 seconds let's say okay then wait dot until expected conditions conditions dot visibility of uh, visibility of element located by this locator by dot link text we put a semicolon here we are explicitly waiting for the flipkart option here okay and then performing the click here but here we have implicit weight which will be applicable for all elements in the script as a common global weight of 10 seconds whatever we have given but uh, if a particular element is taking more than 10 seconds sometimes then in that case you have, you have to specially wait for that element let's say okay so we can use both implicit weight and explicit weight together without any problem run the script and it's going to work okay it's going to do all these operations one by one it's going to type my name into the text area field everything will happen the script can include you see my name got typed it has clicked on the drop down button cut option also got clicked okay so both explicit weight and implicit weight are working together without any problem and in fact they are making the script more robust okay so it is increasing the stability and improving the improving the stability and increasing the robustness of the script when you use them together in real time we use them together okay in selenium java automation so that's all for this session thank you bye bye